Okay, so the following table shows retail sales in drugstores in billions of dollars in the United States for years since 1995. Ah, so in other words, in year zero, that's 85 uh, billion dollars in uh, retail drugstores. And then, and this started, this is started in 1995. So that, that would be, this would actually be here, um, 1995, this is three years later. So this would be 1998, right? Since, so three years later is 1998. And this is what, 2001, because that's six years after 95, et cetera. It just goes up by three years every time. This is 2004, 2007, 2010. And then how the retail sales? Well, look at that. It's going up, 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 up in billions of dollars in United States drugs. All right. Um, so here's a graph of those dots. See what they did? They made a scatter plot. This is another, well, it's a line. It's also called a line, but it's a scatter plot or a line plot. So in other words, let me, let me show you what I mean by that. This dot right here is over zero up 85.851. It's this first one right here. See this one? This is an X and a Y, zero comma 85. I'll just say zero 85. And then the second dot, the second dot right here, this is this dot which is what, over three, up 108, about over three. See how it's over three and it's up just below 110. Do you see that, et cetera. So they just took these, what is it? How many, how many points do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, yeah, five, six. They put those six dots on the graph and then they put a line that kind of goes through the middle. See how that line goes through the middle? Some dots are above, some are below. The line goes through the middle. So that's a linear model that fits the data well. So it looks like, what is that telling us? That's showing us in the real world that over time, drug sales are going up, 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 aren't they? Look at that, billions of dollars since 1995. Right, this, this is right here, 1995, and it goes all the way to the last out, which is 15 years after 1995, which is 2010. So this, this is showing us between 1995 and 2010, look at those dots, that scatter plot, those dots are scattered, and then we fit a line through the middle of them. The uh, drug sales are going through the roof, right? Billions of dollars, the United States is buying more and more and more drugs over this 15 year period. So, okay. So what are we gonna do? It says, use the above scatter plot to decide whether the linear, does it fit well? Does, does, does it seem like the line fits those dots pretty closely? Oh yeah, it is definitely a good model. Very, very good fit. Whereas um, some, sometimes you'll do, you'll do a graph and you'll get dots that, that go like this. And look, that, that doesn't look like a line, does it? Right, you'd say not, not a line. Right, so some sometimes you get dots when you do a scatter plot that do not fit a line, or you'll just get dots that are just crazy random everywhere. It's also not a line. So sometimes you get dots that are just crazy and they don't line up at all. But these dots, they totally line up, don't they? It looks like you know straight linear growth for um, drug sales. So question: Estimate the retail sales in the United States in 2013. Well, how are we going to do that? Well, right here, they gave us the equation of this line. This right here is the equation of the line. In other words, it's telling us this, this is like y axis and this is the x axis. It's telling us y equals, well, it's using t, isn't it? Whatever, 9.44t, I'll, I'll call this t instead of x, t. My t's look like plus signs, I'll try to be T plus 84.182. So that means, and, and the Y, the Y is the, the sales. See this axis right here, these are sales. How many billions of dollars in sales? Depending on the time. So this, this equation is the equation of this line. It's the lines. 
equation, he said. Right? Not making sense? So, okay, so so what? So, and, and, and by the way, in real life, when they do statistics, they have uh, computer programs that do this for you. You just put in your table of data and it makes the dots and it also produces the line and gives you the equation automatically. So this is how, you know, you're going to be teaching younger people who will eventually be scientists and engineers and stuff. And so you're teaching them early on that really technology handles the messy part of the business, gives you the graph and gives you the equation, and then you have to know how to use the equation. So, so, so let's say technology gave us this equation, which is the line that fits through the middle of those dots. Here's the equation of the line. Now let's use that equation to answer the question. So the first one is in the year 2013. So I'm gonna write the equation, I'm gonna bring it down here again. Y equals 9.44T plus 84.182. And I'm gonna take that 2013, I'm gonna, now 2013, remember what year 2013 is? Oh, it's not on my graph. 2013 would be 18. You see it on the table. Let, let me show you how I'm getting that. 2013, remember what T is? T right here is years since 1995. T is years after 1995. So T in the year 2013, take 2013 minus 1995, T will give you 18 because the year 2013 is 18 years after 1995. Let me pause there for a second. Do you see what I'm doing? I just took these words. T is years after 1995. T in the formula. T that I'm going to plug into the formula is years after since 1995. Well, they tell me it's the year 2013. I just subtract 1995 from that and I get T is 18. That's 18 years after 1995. Okay. And then you take that T value and you plug it in right there for T. And that'll tell you, that'll predict the sales. It'll tell you if this trend continues, how many, how much is drug sales going to be in, in the year 2013? Estimate the retail sales in billions of dollars. So you just plug into that, that line equation. That line equation will tell you, you just have to plug in the T is 18 because that's 18 years after 1995. Now I'm hitting the buttons on my calculator. I'm multiplying this and adding this on my calculator as we speak, and I'm getting, here we go, 254.102. So that goes right here, 254.102. So that line equation that fit the data would predict that in the future, in 2013, well, that's actually the past for us, but in the future of this graph anyway, that the, the sales keep growing like that, it's going to be $254.102 billion of sale, sales in the year 2013. And now the last question, which is really the most tricky question, they're going to ask us, use the model to predict the year that corresponds to $242 billion. So if I take the, the equation again, 9.44t plus... 84.182. Remember, the Y is the sales and the T is the time in years after 1995, right? You got to be clear on that. So the Y is the sales and the T is the time in years after 1995. And they're telling us sales is 242 billion. So sales. 242. So plug in 242 for Y and solve for T. Plug in and solve for T. Is that making sense? Because they're telling me, they're saying, all right, let's use that linear equation, that line equation. And let's find out when will sales be 242 billion? When will that happen? So I'm gonna let Y 
be 242 billion. Y is sales, and I'm going to solve for T. So let's solve this equation for T. You remember how to solve linear equations. Subtract 84.182 from both sides. And um, I'll see what I'm going to get here. I'm getting 157.818. All right, and then the last step to finish solving this equation for T, you know, divide, right? Divide by 9.44. Boom, boom. Hit the buttons on your calculator. I'm getting 16. 0.718, 16.718. That means that's how many, now what is T again? Right here, remember, T is years after 1995. So, okay. So years after 1995, so that means I got to take 1995 and I got to add 16.718 because that's years after 1995, right? So add that up, I'm getting 2011.718. 2011 2011.718. So the question is, um, the year that corresponds to retail sales of 242 billion. Do they want me to give 2011 or 2012? Honestly, I'm not exactly sure. Is that late in the year 2011? Or is that, um, let, let, me, let me see, let me, let me go and, and do one on the screen right here um, with you real quick. I'm gonna do one and make sure I understand. So that's uh, 233 billion, so. I'm going to do one real quick to answer that. And then add that. And so that'd be 2010. So what answer did they give? They're giving, yeah. So you just, yeah, so it's in that year. Yeah, so it's in that year. Okay, so I'll go back and show you how they want you to do that answer. So they, they, they don't want you to round up. They want you to just say in that year. So in other words, my answer of 2011.7, that means the 0.7 is just late in the year. Like it might be August or something, you know? So in other words, the answer is just the 2011. You don't say 2012, why? Because it's not actually in the year 2012. It didn't make it to 2012. So that makes sense. I know this seems kind of weird because you're like, well, Mr. Aaron, aren't we supposed to round up? Well, no, not, not always in the real world, right? Because, because why? They said, they said um, what year? What, what year? So in other words, it's the year 2011. Now you think, well, yeah, but what about the 0.7? That just means it's, it's past halfway, right? 2011.5 would be halfway through 2011, right? It's just more than halfway through the year. It's, it's closer to 2012, but it's not in the year 2012. It didn't make it to 2012. It's just late in the year 2011. So our answer would be 2011. So there we go. That's, that's a tricky question. So again, recapping on that, what did we do? We said the line fits the data closely. Then we use the equation they gave us. Right here, we use that equation and we plugged in, for the first part, we plugged in, they said 2013, we had to subtract 1995 because T is years after 1995, that came out 18. And we plugged in 18 right here, hit the buttons, got 254, that's the sales in the year 2013, 18 years after 1995. And then the second part, we had to use the equation and plug in the sales, plug in the Y, solve for T, and then add that to 1995. And so that came out to be the year 2011. We don't round that up. It's just late in the year 2011.